Hey, what's up guys? Alberg here, and I'm over at the FPC West Coast where we arranged a war with Coldcept. As you can see, they took the victory 82 to 85. We had 92.27% total destruction on our end to their 95.93% total destruction on theirs. We did use 59 attacks, they used 60 attacks, and we had 22 three stars to their 26 three stars. Um, and obviously the last three three stars is what cost us the war. Um, overall, great war on both ends. Um, and without further ado, go ahead and show the damage to the bases. So they did manage to three star an 11 um, and left two Town Hall 10s on the board. And they cleaned up the 9. So awesome job, Cold Sept. And we managed to two star their 11s. Cleaned up some 10s, left a few 10s on the board and left three 9s on the board. So... That is what cost us the war, uh, which is unfortunate, but hey, we still had some great attacks uh, as long with, along with Cold Sept, who also had great attacks. So let's go ahead and get straight into these attacks. Number one, Adrian Rico on Fant. Um, this is going to be a Town Hall 10, securing that two-star on the Town Hall 11, the number one Town Hall 11, by the way. Um, Interesting attack here. So we got haste spells on the left hand side here, followed by some loons. Loons are going to take out those outer defenses, those outer archer towers, and those inner cannon slash mortar there. Almost getting the mortar. Uh, then he's just going to drop some minions behind, and those minions are just going to do work, secure all that percentage there. Um, and then he's going to do the same thing in the top here, uh, dropping some baby dragons, followed by some Valks, securing that percentage up there. Um, creating that funnel on the right hand side there. Uh, once that funnel is created, going to drop his heroes on the right side of the space. Heroes are going to work in this compartment here to the town hall, take out the town hall, and that's going to be a solid two stars for Adrian Rico. So just waiting here for the percentage, dropping some few Valks, uh, creating that funnel. That way the heroes and the Valks walk into that core uh, compartment there. Drops the jump spell, allowing those troops access to the town hall. Uh, the Eagle Artillery and the Clan Castle Troops freezes half the Clan Castle Troops and that Inferral Tower. Uh, we're at 44% so far. Um, Eagle Artillery is activated. Uh, Pops King's Ability, 47%. Hops the Wall. Valks, Queen are going to take down that Town Hall, and that's going to secure that s almost that second star. Uh, just waiting on percentage here. So Queen's going to shoot that air defense, locks in the solid 50% there, and that is going to be it for this attack. Awesome job, Adrian Rico, man, with the two-star. Cutting it close there, but getting the two-star for the West Coast, so nice job, man. Uh, next attack's going to be by Buggy, taking down Legotsky. Uh, Buggy is a Town Hall 10. This is a Town Hall 10 on Town Hall 10 triple. Uh, Buggy also got a six-pack this war, so awesome job, Buggy. Um, let's go ahead and watch it. So this is going to be a queen charge here. Um, drops a baby dragon on the left hand side here, creating that funnel for the queen, allowing her to charge into this compartment here. Um, get this whole compartment taken care of. Get the queen taken care of. Get the clan castle troops getting taken care of. And then he's going to drop his king on the right hand side of the base and then drop in some miners. So... Uh, we'll just go ahead and watch as his queen approaches this expo. Uh, it approaches the enemy queen. Just being very patient here. Uh, this type of raid is all about patience. Um, the queen charge takes up most of the time. Excellent job there with the wall breakers. So once this inner defense goes down, uh, he waits. Wall breakers hit that second junction there. Uh, so awesome job with the wall breakers. In comes the column on the right hand side of the base. Followed by a wizard up top, creating that funnel for the kill squad. That way they don't walk up and they walk inside this town hall compartment here. Uh, looks like enemy queen is down. Out comes the CC. We got a golem and a loon. Uh, approaching this queen, drops the poison on the loon and the skellies there. Uh, King wall breaks into that compar compartment. Drops the bowlers. They're going to jump, take out this compartment, jump this wall, take out this inferno tower, and then we're going to have some back end miners for the top. So... Uh, this attack does work really well, especially on this base, uh, being it being kind of wide and an anti-3 style. Uh, he's got the queen taken out a quarter of the base, got the king taken out the next quarter of the base, and then the 
miners, the mass miners on the top are going to sweep through the last half of the base along with the king and the bowlers. Uh, we got the miners still working their way. Drops the heal spell on the kill squad and the miners. Uh, queen looks like she's going to bang through this wall, taking her time, um, trying to get up to that other compartment, hopefully take out that uh, inferno tower. We still have both abilities left over on the king and the queen. Looks like Queen is going to be targeted by that Inferno Tower, which doesn't seem to phase her too much. Uh, she is going to approach it pretty soon, take it out, pops her ability, gets that Inferno Tower taken out, and we got the Miners on the top, outer ring here, cleaning up those trash buildings, helping out that kill squad. We got Miners inside that last compartment as well, helping out that kill squad, and this is going to be a wrap. This is this base is demolished. Um, excellent job, Buggy, with your plan, man. Um, you executed it flawlessly. And it looks like we just got a few outer buildings to take care of. And that's going to be a wrap for Buggy here. We're bringing a three star for the West Coast. So awesome job. Uh, next attack is also going to be by Buggy um, with the six pack. So, And this is a different style of attack. So I thought this was pretty awesome. We got a queen charge. Uh, queen charge Lalo. At the Town Hall 10 level. We don't see this too often. Uh, especially nowadays with just the mass bowlers and the mass miners. So I thought this was pretty cool to show. So he's got the wall breakers that wall break that first compartment. Try to get the, to that second layer. Unfortunately missed it. Uh, still has five wall breakers left over. Goal here is to take out this air defense. The Inferno Tower. And I believe this air defense as well. Um, along with getting the Queen and the Clan Castle troops. So. Queen's going to go ahead and take down that first air defense. Uh, he is going to drop his queen here shortly. It uh, looks like the CC is going to come out. Drops the poison. Engages the queen. Takes the queen out here shortly. And the CC. Um, looks like that balloon is going so slow. Didn't even reach the queen. So awesome job there. Still has queen's ability. Um, queen is going to bank through that wall. Pretty awesome there that she didn't walk this way. I'm not sure if he planned that um, or whatnot, but drops in the wall breakers, followed by the king, trying to funnel that king in a little late on the minions there. King is going to walk around this outer side of the base, but the queen is going to come in here, pop the her ability, take out this archer tower, and then step up and take down that inferno tower. Um, and then that first part of the raid is pretty much over. We got a jump spell. Try to get that king in there and get the queen to jump over and take out that air defense. So that worked out perfectly. Um, King still is going to walk around this base. Queen's going to finally take out that air defense here shortly. And then he's going to start the Lalo portion of the raid. We got two hounds incoming from the bottom, followed by targeted loons. Um, and then we got another hound on the right side base. Max hound coming out of the CC. Uh, we got hay spells incoming. We still have three hay spells in the bag. Um, he spells all over this base. King pops his ability. It looks like Queen finally went down, but there's just too much loons and the hounds up at this po point in time. Uh, this is going to be a solid three start by Buggy. Um, looks like the balloons are trying to take care of the rest of these defenses here. Still have a hound up. Um, all the defenses are almost over. We still have, we got some in oncoming minions over here. Going to take out the King. And that sweeper, so awesome job there with the cleanup troops. Still have an unpopped town and a few loons. And some minions and pups to do the cleanup here. Um, and I don't know, I'm not sure what the healer is shooting at. I don't know if she's shooting at that town hall or a troop below there. But um, that's going to be a wrap here for Buggy. Solid three star, queen charge, Lalo. Um, digging this attack, very nice. A uh, nice six pack. All right, moving along. We got number eleven, Matthias, going going down, taking down Sofa here. Uh, Mith Matthias bringing a signature attack here. We got a um, what is it? Double Zap Quake, uh, Lalo. So from what I hear, this is one of his signatures attacks. Um, so awesome chop there. We got the the Zap Quakes in the core. Air defense and that top air defense. One quake, uh, securing both those. Drops the poison spell on the CC there. Uh, drops the heroes, getting the queen kill and the CC kill as well. Uh, now you could pretty much do this on any kind of base. It definitely works out if you got four air defenses in a row. 
um, pretty much in the exposed queen is on the outside and the clan castle. So if you take out the clan castle troops, take out the queen, um, zap quake some air defenses, and then you just do a counterclockwise or clockwise uh, La Lune raid portion of the base, and that's going to be it. Save some troops for cleanup. Um, already got the cleanup minions working on the bottom there. Saving two loons in the bag. Um, Matthias is bringing a counterclockwise loon here. Um, Could have started a little bit over to the left. But that's not going to be a problem as there's too many loons to take on these two uh, Teslas there. And then we still have two unpopped towns. Looks like one just popped and then some back in loons on that archer tower. Which will move on to that cannon and then hopefully the archer tower. So queen is still locked onto that hound. Uh, luckily in time saving that one hound to do the rest of the work here um, while that hound just tanks. And then we got the minions and the pups taking down the king. And then a lot of cleanup here already going on. 22 seconds left in this raid. The rest is just clean up here. We got the last defense taken care of. And then an unpopped town followed by some loons. So this base is wrecked. Uh, loving this attack as well. We don't see this too often. So um, awesome job with the Zap Quake Lalo. I liked it. Alright guys, next attack is going to be by myself here. Um... Taking down number 12, 99.9% .9 one star here. Um, this is a fresh hit. Bring in the Shattered Bowler La Lune Raid. One of my favorites, um, as I do in almost every war now. So drop in the golems, creating that funnel on the right-hand side there with the baby dragons. It's going to allow all my troops to enter this base um, and not have to walk or worry about the bowlers walking. So I drop that first test wall breaker, followed by the three wall breakers that come in allow that junction to get open and then I drop the queen the king and the bowlers now they're going to work into the core of this base I am going to drop a pre-placed poison followed by the heal and then, then I'm going to wait drop the rage spell that's going to allow all my bowlers my heroes to just rage on in there and take out these three air defenses which is the goal um, you can do this attack on almost any base, especially if the air defenses are in line with the queen and the CC. So if you can get in, take out the CC, take out the queen, take out two to three air defenses and some sweepers, then this ba that's that's pretty much going to be the gist of this attack. So um, waiting on these bowlers to take out this last air defense here. So I'm just being very patient. Uh, I already popped king's ability, still have queen up. Uh, I could have entered on the top portion of this base, but I decided to enter on the right-hand side. So I uh, drop, dropped the first town, followed by a few targeted defenses. Looks like I'm going to have to pop Queen's ability here shortly. And I forget, of course, and she dies. But not to worry. So many loons just incoming here on this one air defense. Um, we got one hound that has already popped. It looks like the second one is going to pop here shortly. Um, not a problem. Queen, those loons are going to step out, take it out. Hound pops just in time, and that's just too many loons left over to take on this defense, this defense, and these two Teslas. I did save. I already got the cleanup wizard working on the bottom left here. Going to take out the storage, and then I did save a loon for the back end, back end here for this Tesla. So I dropped in that loon. That loon's going to take out that Tesla and then work on the storage. Um, you know, all the cleanup is done on the left-hand side of the base here. We got cleanup whizzies on the top and the bottom, uh, right side there. And then that's just going to be a wrap. We still have one bowler. Finally busts through the wall, gets into that last compartment, uh, working on that final third storage there, gets the rest of the storages, and that's going to be a wrap. Three stars for the West Coast. And uh, shout-out to Dixon and uh, Manello for helping me with this attack, so I appreciate that. All right, moving along, we got Sir Lixalot on Koss here. Sir Lixalot bringing the Queen Charge Lalo, also another specialty that we don't see too often here. So we got the Queen up at the top here. She's going to take out the enemy Queen, take out the CC. It's going to drop the Queen on this side of the base to clear a nice wide funnel for the Queen so she can enter this base, take out some air defenses, and then start the Lalo portion of the raid. Um, drops the baby dragon just in time. Uh, once this archer tower is distracted on this queen, drops the baby dragon. That baby dragon is going to do so much work here. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to fight the sweeper, but not going to be a problem. 
in with the king. King's going to create that funnel, like I said, again, for the queen. And then she's just going to work her way in, take her time, and take out the CC along with the next defenses. Drops a raid spell uh, and the poison for the CC. I'm not sure if he uses the queen ability yet no does not use queen's ability looks like the baby dragon came into the cc and rerouted instead of taking all this up here which the baby dragon could have um but you know not a problem looks like those um healers did get hit with some air mines but you know still not a problem king unfortunately goes down on the bottom but did create such a great funnel there for all the rest of the troops queen's going to take down that first air defense and then end with the two hounds on the right side of the base, followed by the targeted loons. Uh, Queen's going to go ahead and step up, take out that second air defense. And then he drops a haste spell here. Um, those balloons are going to get to that first air defense very quickly. Take it out, drop another haste spell in time. So all the troops just move to that second one very quickly. Looks like his queen is going to go down. I believe he forgets the ability here. Yep. Queen goes down, forgets the ability. It's still not a problem. Too many troops left over. Um, so not a big deal. And we got another hay spell left over, followed by four more loons. And we got a Tesla farm and some wizard towers there that can do a lot of damage. Drops the hay spell. Oh, those loons are going to take out the Tesla farm and those wizards pretty quick here. And we already got the cleanup pups on the bottom, ha bottom half side of the base. Sorry about that. Bottom half side of the base. Um, on the cleanup and then we got a cleanup minion on this camp so um, and this attack works very well if you can drop your queen take out the queen enemy queen um, take out the enemy cc and two air defenses and then start to la low so um, seems like the themed raids in today's meta is air attacks now i i don't know why that is i'm Definitely a fan of air attacks. I'm starting to enjoy them a lot more. I used to be just a ground attacker and never used to do air attacks, and I'm starting to change it up. So I think this is the new meta, air attacks. I don't know what you guys think. If you guys want to go ahead and comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't know. But anyways, awesome job, Sir Looks a lot on your attack, man. Uh, moving along to number 16, we got Lamp Post taking out Animalistic. Um, it's actually Matthias using lamp, or not Matthias, excuse me, um, uh, Homie using Lamp Post account, and uh, Homie bringing the three star for Lamp Post and the West Coast. So, um, anyways, we got a stoned hobo here, which is also the meta these days. Um, I I'm not sure those. I guess those are two of my favorite attacks: the Laloon portion raids, like the Shattered Bowler, um, Lalo, and then the Stoned Hobo, definitely one of my favorites. Haven't done Stone Bo Stoned Hobo in quite a few wars, though, so I'm not sure if it's going away or whatnot, but we still see it in every war a few times at least. So we got the Kill Squad entering. Drops the double jump there, allowing that Kill Squad to reach the access to the Queen. Take her out. Uh, once she's in, comes in with the targeted hogs all over the base here. Uh, we just got so many hogs coming in from all sides of the base. It looks like the enemy king still is alive. Enemy queen is going to shoot on that wall. Um, no more spells left over here. Uh, we got hogs taking up the defenses up top and the bottom there. Just in time, hogs take out this last... Nope, hogs do not get that last Tesla, unfortunately. Uh, we got these last three hogs there, and just in time, that last Tesla gets taken care of, allowing the hogs to work in the core of the base um, work their way out and then we got the cleanup wizards on the bottom here on each side and everything's just cleaning up together so awesome job there um, nice job on the cleanup too early cleanup always works well um, finally pops queen's ability trying to get this raid taken care of get all those archers with the queen um, shoot through those walls unfortunately she's not going to do any damage to anything outside of the base but at least we got to see that nice saved ability for the end and that beautiful three-star by Homie. So awesome job there. All right, moving along to probably my favorite attack of the war. We got T-Pain taking down World Beater. I believe this is a fresh hit. I'm not sure, though. Um, and we got a Queen Charge Drag Lalo. Very nice attack. Um, this is a pretty maxed-out base besides the Wizard Towers and the Expos 
And the sweepers, we got a 30 queen here and a 30 king, so very patient with the hero upgrades and then just waiting, um, or not the hero upgrades, the defense upgrades, but definitely got those heroes pretty quick. Um, that allows his weight to be somewhat lower. But the queen here, she's going to come in, take out these air defenses, take out this sweeper. Uh, king's going to take down that enemy king. He is going to pop his ability here shortly. Not sure if he's going to draw the CC. I'm, I do not remember. But we are going to come in with the oncoming drags here on the left-hand side. Um, drags are going to overwhelm this base. And before these drags can reach this air defense, we got a hound incoming. Um, followed by some loons, which are just going to take out that air defense really quick, allowing those drags to just do so much work. Um, and we got the queen on the right side of the base as well. And then we got the zap quake on the enemy queen. Gets quarter of her health and takes down that air defense as well. Um, looks like we got some more balloons coming from the left hand side of the base here while these core defenses are distracted, followed by a rage spell. Um, we got the queen still, enemy queen still alive. Uh, those drags should lock on her shortly and take her out. Looks like that drag is going to step up, take her out, and he drops a poison spell on her just in case the drag goes down, which it does, and we got the enemy queen taken down by our queen. So we still have loons up in this raid, guys. Still have loons. Um, that's how, you know, well thought out this attack was. Um, nothing is targeting those loons. These loons are just stepping up to each defense, barely missing it, and then moving on to the next. Uh, queen's going to work her way down, clean up this trash buildings, and these two loons are going to come up here and finish that troll Tesla in the corner. Um, and then followed by the three drags and the queen and those healers. Um, queen's going to get to it first and take out that last Tesla. So awesome attack, T-Pain. I love the plan. Very well thought out and well executed. All right, moving along. We got Happy Barbarians on number 25 here. Uh, Furback Turtle. And we got the P.E.K.K.A. Smash. Uh, those of you who do not know what the P.E.K.K.A. Smash is, I did do a strategy video on the P.E.K.K.A. Smash. Go ahead and check it out. I explained a little bit in you know more detail on how to do that attack. Um, Happy is from By Forever, so and this is a By Forever favorite here. So we got the CC lure followed by the poison, and then the queen working her way. Gonna pop her ability, take out that baby dragon, then drops another baby dragon, creating that funnel here. Uh, then we're shortly going to start creating another funnel, followed by um, the P.E.K.K.A.s and the P.E.K.K.A. Smash. So we got the Baby Dragon on the right-hand side of the base here, creates the funnel, drops in the two P.E.K.K.A.s. Unfortunately, that Baby Drag goes down and not up, but that's not going to be a problem. In come the Valks, in come the King. Once that breaks open, we're going to drop the Bowlers, and everything's going to go in the base. Just kidding. We got the P.E.K.K.A.s who are going to walk up. And we got the kill squad that's going to enter this base. Um, the funnel was not properly done, but that's not going to be a problem. Still going to be a three star. Usually, the goal of this attack is to have the Pekkas um, enter the base with the King and the Valks and the Bullers and, and the Healers, and they just demolish the inside of this core. Um, but it looks like the Pekkas are going to take out these outer defense at our defenses and meet up with the kill squad so that's not going to be a problem uh, now along with this raid you always want to start dropping your baby dragons on the outside of the base um, that way the pekkas don't walk out and have to take down these trash buildings S always save two loons for the end of this raid and if you must need them like he did right now um, go ahead and drop them so it drops in that one loon there gonna take out this archer tar since it is distracted on those pekkas and then the loon is gonna go down unfortunately but still has a backup loon, which he drops in now. Um, looks like his queen is down. King's still alive. Barely breathing there. Uh, still got some bowlers, which are going to take down this mortar here, along with this baby dragon. Looks like the P.E.K.K.A.s finished up the last um, defenses there in that top compartment. And they're going to work their way down, clean up this camp, and then the bowlers and the drag are going to clean up this last defense, or last storage here. And that's going to be a wrap for Happy Barbarians. Awesome job, man. Um, unfortunately, you didn't get the funnel right in the beginning, but not to worry. The P.E.K.K.A.s rerouted <clears throat> and finally met up with the Kill Squad and did what they were supposed to do. So awesome job with the P.E.K.K.A. Smash. All right, guys. Next and last attack is going to be by Manolo. 
Take it down, Candyman. Um, believe this is a fresh hit, and Manello also had a nice six-pack this war, so awesome job there. And uh, pay close attention to this quad quake he does in the core of this base. Very, very well placed. Um, I thought that was an excellent job. Um, so bring in the Shattered Golems there, followed by the Wall Breakers and the Baby Drags to create that funnel. Drops a Queen, <clears throat> being very patient here, drops a Bullrus, drops a King. Uh, they're going to enter this base, drops a Quad Quake. Now look at that Quad Quake, guys. Very beautiful there. Um, gets only a portion of this base, doesn't get this wall, does not want his Kill Squad to walk into this compartment. So um, his, the idea of this raid, obviously get these three air defenses, or four air defenses, and possibly... No, yeah. Get the three air defenses and possibly a fourth, uh, which I believe Manello does, but gets him any queen, enemy queen kill, drops the poison on her. Um, Queen's still working on this hound, drops both the uh, drops the rage spell and the kill squad, along with that heal spell, keeping that kill squad alive, uh, and the rage allowing those bowlers to just take out those defenses and get those air defenses down. Looks like the queen is still working on the CC here. Uh, Manolo being very patient, Looks like the third air defense goes down, and then we can now start our portion of the raid. We got incoming hounds from the bottom. We got one on the right, one on the left there. That way we distract those archer towers and trip any um, air bombs as necessary. Followed by the targeted loons. And then we got an archer already working on the cleanup on the right-hand side of the space here on the bottom. Still have five loons in the bag with a minion. Um, and then we drop some a few loons up top. And then just incoming loons um, from the top here shortly. Queen looks like she just went down. Not a problem. Incoming loons on the top. Take out that last um, air targeting defense along with the expo. And then that's going to be a wrap. Drops the last right-hand side loon there on the cannon. Um, once that loon takes out that cannon and this cannon, they can start the cleanup. Already has the cleanup on the bottom with those pups. The minion on the town hall so if you're if you're doing one of these attacks and you can if you have cleanup troops uh, let's say you have three wizards or something like that um, go ahead and drop one on that town hall let them work on that town hall and then drop the other on the outside ring that way the town hall you know sometimes the town hall takes a long time to get down um, and if you only have a minion or an archer definitely drop it on that town hall instead of the outside of the base that way it can work on that town hall um, and then when those loons meet up the town hall is down and then they only have a few um, low hit point buildings to take care of. So, um, awesome job, Nello, with the attack. Bring in the Shattered Boulder Laloon, one of my favorites. Um, and just love the quad quake you did, man. Awesome job. So, anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video with the FPC West Coast. Um, again, awesome job, Cold Sep, for bringing the win. But, um, awesome job, West Coast, for almost getting the win. Um, so we, we were definitely close and I thought we had some good attacks, but anyways Thanks for watching this video guys um, Go ahead and like comment subscribe and uh, as always you guys take care. Thanks for watching